he would have wanted in Lincolnshire with Forest Green Rovers but he'll be hoping to go one better this afternoon it's going to be Yeovil who get us underway then kicking from right to left as we look at it all so forward it's a long direct pass it's a good ball as well challenge comes in from Zach Mills and he feels he got the ball but right on the edge of the penalty area Yeovil have got a free kick it's a dangerous position it's one of those you would probably say if you want a curling effort it's a little bit too close but it was Aaron Jarvis causing Mills all sorts of problems yeah, it's 20 yards out at most, isn't it? And McGavin looks like he's over the ball, but like you say, it might just be a fraction close because he's got to get it up and down again. Rochdale got one nil up against Woking in the National League. Yeah, difficult for McGavin here to decide what to do here. He's going to go for the right-footed effort. He's going to have to get a real whip on this. I wonder if he's going to aim for that top right hand corner rather than the, the top left which you usually associate from this position it's McGavin then first good opportunity of this game delivers the free kick does go for it and finds the top corner that is an incredible free kick Brett McGavin top right corner 1-0 Yeovil yeah fantastic free kick pretty much the same blade of grass that Chris Ray scored from last week first good opportunity of this game Delivers the free kick, does go for it and finds the top For Tamworth, that one was even further into the top corner. Goalkeeper's side, but I don't think you would fault Gregory for that one. No, we just talked about it, didn't we? That, that was really the only place he could go, I think, to get enough whip on it. And uh, he couldn't have done anything with it, Cameron Gregory, could he? It was perfection from McGavin. He's going to try and get there, and it is Tony Weston now racing forward, plays it into Hazel, chance for Hazel, it's well blocked though to take. Boston trailing at the moment, but it's Woods who delivers the corner, and it's towards the far post. Boswick back across goal, easily gathered by Ollie Wright, who goes down. Hazel, now Osborne, just can't find, oh, Weston's got there, it's Boston, two on one, Weston has it, Weston squares it for Osborne! It's the first goal in black and amber for Sam Osborne and Boston level 1-1. Yeah, and they've robbed possession again, haven't they? Which is how they found joy early in this game. It was Weston. And once again, he's been completely unselfish. He could have chosen to take it on himself, but cut it back for Osborne. Squares it for Osborne! It's the first goal in black and amber for Sam Osborne. Against United level. Yeah, brilliant from Boston United there. It's been a, a part of the game. We've seen a lot, haven't we, Craig? Boston stealing that ball. Yeovil trying to play it out from the back. A bit like we've seen Boston United in the early games try and do. Play football out from the back. It's not worked for them. And Tony Weston, there was that, what's he going to do? But superb from him to lay it on a plate for Osborne. Yeah, definitely. It was a clinical finish, as Hazel's was eventually on Monday. Oh, yeah, he looks nervous under pressure there Richards oh that's a late one in on Cooper and he's off Jordan Richards has been sent off here Craig how did you view that one uh, yellow card I thought you could, you could tell as soon as the referee came over though couldn't you that he was going to send him off I my first call on that was yellow card here the ball's played through it's Jacob Hazel racing forward Osborne in the box Hazel plays it across Osborne with the knee straight into the arms of the goalkeeper ball forward out to Ara Oye who's found a little bit of space now into the penalty area plays it back into the edge of the box and it's 2-1 to Yeovil and it's McGavin who fires in his second of the afternoon Boston switching off for the first time since going down to 10 men and they lead 2-1 Plays it back into the edge of the box and it's 
2-1 to Yeovil. Yeah, it's a, another great goal from McGavin, isn't it? On his left foot this time. Pretty sure he played for Ian Corberhouse, Paul Bastock at Kings Lynn a few years ago. You can see that he's a player of real quality. Yeah, so McGavin with his second. It was the first time, really, that Boston United had been stretched since going down to 10 men. And it was Arroyo who found the time and the space to pick up the uh, ball. And now Yeovil uh, have Arroyo down on the ground. And the referee's saying, if you're injured, you need to get off the pitch. That's been the controversial moment. It's Woods to deliver this free kick. He delivers it into the box, headed away. Boston down the right wing. Weston all on his own at the moment. Got Hazel just behind him. Plays it in for Hazel, just has to protect play. Now with Jay Rowe. Four minutes are up. Hazel looking for the ball through for Weston, who goes down. No penalty. I think it would have been a cheap one. Yeah, nothing in that, was there? And there is the half-time whistle. Well, Craig, we can talk about the goals, but I think the one thing we need to talk about is the red card. Yeah, not for me. We've watched it back long. While they're playing as they are, you've got a chance. So, Boston get us back underway here on Hope and Glory on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Trailing by two goals to and one. Head on it, and it's a chance now maybe, but Woods wins it back edge of the penalty area. Curling effort goes well forward. Jarvis has it right-hand corner of the penalty area, plays it across the penalty area. No Yeovil men are there. Hill just has to clear it Gavin out. Going for his hat-trick. Cooper also there. Chance now for Young. The substitute gets the shot in, but it's well blocked by. But it's Pearson now. Looks to get a cross into the box. It's played across. And it's a goal for Yeovil. And it's the substitute, Jordan Young, who slides it home. Box is played across. And it's a goal for Yeovil. And for all their great work, Boston United are behind. They are further behind than they were previously. And it's, uh, it's the first real move that Yeovil have had second half. They had one noble turn wide by Jarvis, but first clear-cut opening. And all made by Sam Pearson, was it, down that? Yeah. Left-hand side to pull the ball back for Jordan Young, the substitute, to, to roll it home. So, Young finishes the move off. Frustration for Boston United going into this final 15 minutes. Nublay, Nublay against Leek. Nublay, couple of step-overs. Good save again by Cameron Gregory. Second chance. Still not cleared by Boston. It's Young. He puts it over. Hazel continuing to chase Hazel sliding in it's a good challenge from Jacob Hazel then he's been brought down Hazel sliding in it's a good challenge from Jacob Hazel then he's been brought down he's off that is cynical and we are a yellow card here and I think Wannell can't quite believe what he's he's done I think he had a moment where he forgot that he was on a yellow card there yeah, definite, definite yellow, definite red. Free kick for Mooney to take for Boston. Played into the box, Adaroji with the header. Bounces around, cleared away by Yeovil. Inside on his left foot again. Mooney goes past his man, plays it across goal. Nobody's able to get there. Hazel tries to win it back and again Yeovil. Corner from Mooney, headed away by Nublay. And there is the full-time whistle. A tough one to take this afternoon for Boston United, who lose here by three goals to one at home against Yeovil Town. Yeovil taking the lead, a brilliant free kick from Brett McGavin. Seven minutes in, but Sam Osborne...